Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This time around we have the Saber. The Saber is a semi-automatic assault rifle. It's more like a sniper rifle than an assault rifle. It's kind of the big brother to the Matak. It fires much slower, but it does far more damage per shot. It's incredibly accurate. Yeah, it's it's more like a sniper rifle than anything else. A semi-automatic sniper rifle. This is my live fire series. It showcases the weapons in actual combat, demonstrating their accuracies from behind cover, along with their actual damage. If you'd like to see their accuracies compared in more detail, please check out my target practice series. This will all be done on Insanity. Anyway, to talk about mods, this weapon does benefit from an extended barrel. It does very, very good damage for an assault rifle, but still, for a sniper rifle, it's a bit on the low end. It is a semi-automatic weapon, so more damage is always helpful. The scope is very useful for this weapon for lining up headshots. Of all the assault rifles, you know, this one is one of the better choices for shooting through cover. It does do a lot of damage per shot, so if that's your thing, go for it. Increased rounds per magazine can be helpful. It does have a lot of shots in the magazine, but it reloads very slowly. That's something to keep in mind. And as far as a recoil damper goes, I would only use a recoil damper if you plan on using this weapon outside of cover and firing frequently rather than lining up each of your shots. If you're firing from cover, its recoil is minimal and is reduced significantly, so you can actually fire frequently and line up headshots without a damper. So that's up to player preference. But let us get to it. I won't be using any mods, as always. The Saber is an incredibly powerful weapon. It's one of the strongest weapons in the entire game. Personally, I feel like it's borderline overpowered. If not overpowered. Especially when it's scoped. It's actually rather difficult. I mean, I'm essentially using it right now as a no-scope rifle. But it fires quickly. Very minimal recoil when used from behind cover. Does a lot of damage per shot. Challenging to line up... ...shots on the mail slot, though, without a scope. But it's doable. Come on, how is that not a hit? Finally. Alright, screw that. Don't have a lot of ammo to work with, so I'm going to try to make every shot count. I cannot see. Alright. And again, its recoil is actually very minimal when... when fired from behind cover. So I don't really... unless you're going to use this weapon from outside of cover frequently... I don't really see the point to a damper. Especially if you're going to actually line up each of your shots. He drop ammo? He did drop ammo. That was most kind. You do not have to zoom in with this weapon to actually hit opponents. At least at this range, I mean. And I did just get a shot on the Centurion and a headshot. I believe he did about half his shields worth of damage on a headshot. It's also just a really fun weapon to use. I mean, when you mod it, when you have an ammo power, I mean, you can just one-shot damn near anything with this thing. Especially just armor-piercing ammo. It's incredibly powerful. I just can't stress that enough. Kind of surprised it hasn't been nerfed yet. Come on. Really? I mean, considering the Falcon was nerfed. 
And I find this thing to be... Honestly... I find this thing to be far more powerful than the Falcon was even before it was nerfed. But maybe that was just me. But I didn't even... I enjoyed this weapon a lot more in the single player than the Falcon. Even before the Falcon nerf. It's very easy to conserve ammo when you really line up your shots. Rapid rate of fire. I really just can't say enough good stuff about this thing. Well, he escaped. I did get a shot on him, though. One headshot did about half his shield's worth of damage. I mean, and you can see, just to, go, to show how powerful this weapon is, I mean, I finished this with so much ammo. Now, granted, I found quite a bit of ammo, so I suppose that's a bit disingenuous. But still, I mean, if you can just line up shots, line up headshots, you'll do fine. But thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more, and have a good one.